So today we are here at the Chichester Harbour and we're going to be heading out to look at how you can operate your craft around wildlife. We're going to be visiting an area that has a sealing haul out. So this is where seals come out of the water to digest their food throughout the day. But we need to make sure that we are operating our craft slowly and that we're keeping our distance as much as possible to minimise that disturbance on them during that important process. It's important for recreational boaters, first of all, to be aware of the environment they're going into. So doing a bit of research up front is very important. So they know where particularly sensitive species will be occurring, whether there'll be seal haul outs or breeding bird sites. The best place to find codes of conduct for the areas that you are going to be launching your craft is either at the Harbour Authority, um, the local conservancy partnerships, or you can contact the Green Blue directly to find out the best way possible for you to go about your boating to minimise any impacts. Recreational boating uh, can impact marine wildlife by getting too close to various species such as marine mammals, causing them to use up more energy than they would normally by disturbing them into the water for instance. Um, they could also impact um, roosting birds or nesting birds, so even a brief visit from a, a canoe or a small vessel can disturb birds off, off their roost sites in, which will Im impact how much they have to feed and for marine mammals you can disturb seal haul outs by approaching too closely um, which will cause them to flee into the water um, and all of these things collectively can have quite a big impact on the survival of various species. What we're really looking for is to look up where they're going to be visiting to launch their craft on the water and find out, is there a marine protected area in that location? If there is, find out what the local codes of conduct are to identify the best practice that you need to be adopting to make sure that you are doing the best you can to minimise any disturbance on that local wildlife or environment and then to ensure that you can maintain your freedom of access and boating and enjoy viewing that wildlife in the future.